Hello YouTube friends. Thanks for joining me. Today we're in my kitchen, but we're not necessarily cooking up something for old guy and me to eat. We're going to be cooking up some catfish bait. If you've been following our channel over the summer and the fall, then you know that we've been catching catfish out of our pond. At the beginning of the summer and all through the summer, we used uh, just a pole and hook method, but then this fall we set up a jug line that we've been catching a lot of catfish on. And catfish bait can get kind of expensive. Uh, primarily I've been using the blood bait uh, that are mold pre-molded pellet things that come in a bag. And then I've also used this catfish bait that is blood based that uh, works pretty good but somebody suggested to me that I try dog food. So I did uh, water down some dog food. The problem with that is that I couldn't figure out how to hold it together without some kind of binding agent. So I had some of this catfish bait and I mixed the softened kind of pulverized dog food up with this catfish bait and that helped it hold together and it did a real good job on catching the fish on the jug line. Now we kind of laid off baiting our hooks for a while because it got cold. We were down to six degrees uh, for one morning and that's just way too cold to be out there uh, trying to pull up catfish on and get the line baited and everything like that. It's just too cold. So we laid off but now we're coming into a little warmer spell. It's not going to be warm but it's not going to be as cold where we can get out there and bait our hooks in the evening and then in the morning feel like we can go out and check them. I miss doing it actually because I've enjoyed running this jug line. Uh, it's kind of been a fun thing even though I'm a girl. So what I've got is four cups of dog food and they're pretty small and they're kind of puppy sized but they're actually adult dog food and I don't know how much water I have here but what I'm gonna do is cover this dog food with the water and the next thing is to just I'll, I'll probably stir it up with a spoon and let it sit there for as long as it takes to soften it uh, it will take a few hours actually my water was warm it wasn't hot but it was warm out of my tap <clears throat> well I might mention to you why I have this bowl here because I suspect as this dog food soaks up the water it's going to kind of grow and outgrow my bowl so I'll watch it and if it does that I will put it into this bigger bowl and if it seems like it's soaked up all the water before I'm ready to use it I'll uh, and the the kibbles are still kind of hard. I'm going to add more water. I want them to be moist but not sogged up. Yesterday, when we moved our jug line, we added one extra line between the jugs, and consequently, it goes down a lot deeper and we caught a pretty nice fish on it. It's a little bit smaller than what we've been keeping but it seems like a good fish so I'm thinking maybe we should keep it. The only thing is that we're about ready to go to church and don't have time to clean it right now but I think we're gonna stick it in a bucket of lake water and keep it till we get back home from church oh that's heavy <laughs> look at my strong man okay all right there the fishy goes till we get back home well, it's another frosty morning out here on the Neil's homestead. You ready to go check the fish line? We're ready to go. One of them's wiggling, so we want a big one. Okay, you saw before that we had the, the line tied at that post right there on the dock, and then 
ran it over here on this side of that dead bush right there. That's an old rose bush that's mostly dead, but it's coming back to life. But then we extended it on over there because this area wasn't quite long enough and the, the jugs were pretty bunched up together. This is the second morning that we've checked with it out there. Yesterday we caught three, but they were all small, so we threw them back. Today we're going to go out and see what we have. We put two extra lines out between two of the jugs, and so we have 12 lines now. That one doesn't have anything. This one has something. Yep, it's... Oh, splashed me in the eye. Okay, and it's caught on one of those circle-type hooks. Okay, there's one on this one. The only thing is, it's a small one too. Which kind of makes me wonder if... We are, this is, over here is where the little fish live. Because <laughs> I think we've caught one big, good sized fish over here, but caught it on another one of these hooks. I think I like these hooks because they're easy to get out, but the fish obviously stay on them. As fish, it's small also, Dugan. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna let them grow. <laughs> I hate catching them if we just have to throw them back. Even if there's only one hook caught on these treble hooks, it's hard to get out. Harder than that other hook. So I'm thinking if we're going to keep fishing, <laughs> I'm pretty tempted to go get some circle hooks. Now, is that number three? Yeah. And there's more. I can see more down through here. Wait. This was on your homemade bait, too. That's right. That's right. No. No, it's not. It's bigger, but it's not big enough. Oh, boy. Okay, well, after I got the pliers, that wasn't hard to get out. That's good. Yeah. But that one right there, it's fighting pretty good. So I'm thinking it could be something worth hauling into the house. Yes. Oh yeah. He's, he's big. His mouth's wide open for me. Let's see if I can get this in there. Whoa. That, that's the biggest. I think this is the biggest one we've caught on the jug line. Okay, we got this nice one to haul back in. That was worth it. What did we catch? Five total? I think we caught four little ones in this big one. Could be. So, well that's, I'm happy about that. Yeah. I'm happy about your bait. Yeah, I'll have to share with you guys what I did for bait yesterday that worked so well. So it's been about six hours since I poured the water over that dog food and let it sit and soak up the water. Next, we want to get it mixed up with the dough bait, and so let's go on to that process. Now this is the third time that I've made this dough bait. I'm going to show you the other two ways I did it and then a, a different way that I'm going to do it today. The first time that I did it, I put all of it into a Ziploc bag and I just manually mushed it around until it uh, felt like it got incorporated with each other. The next time I did it, I used my little Ninja food processor and that worked pretty good. Today I'm going to try the mixer and see how I get along with that. If it doesn't work, I will have to get out my bigger food processor and do that, but this food is really quite soft. You can, I can mash it with my fingers pretty easily, and so I think that it will work pretty good. I'm, I want this to be soft, and it, right now it's fairly hard, so I'm gonna take the plastic film cover off of it, 
and I'm gonna microwave it for a minute at least and see how it looks and I might go two minutes okay a minute was plenty a minute maybe was even a little bit too much because it's quite hot and I'll tell you what that stuff stinks it's called stink bait for a reason I'm gonna use a bigger plastic bowl because I think I need some room to work around in there. Kind of as much as I hate sticking one of our spoons in this stuff, I am going to spoon it out and try to scatter it around in here so it's not just one big clump. And I'm going to take it over to my electric outlet and mix it and then I'll show you what it looks like afterward. Well I've mixed it a little bit and it's starting to incorporate. I just wanted to show you in the process what it looks like. I want to have the right amount of dog food with the right amount of gooey dough bait in order to make it all stick together. So let me do some more mixing and then we'll look at it again. It's not finished but I've done it some more and I just wanted to show you in the process. It looks like it's clumping together pretty good. So at this point, I've done it probably a total of a minute and a half, maybe, all together. Okay, I feel like it's incorporated well enough, and the test is to see how it sticks together. So I've picked up a clump of this stinky stuff, and I'm going to make a ball out of it. And then what I will be doing is stabbing a treble hook or the circle hooks down into there and I feel like that's going to hold together. I mean it's not real stiff. It's fairly soft but I think that it will stick to the, the hook. That's what I need it to do. Most is stick to the hook. Stay on there for a long enough time that a fish will come along and eat it. I'm even going to do a little test and take my ball that I made, put it down in the water, and see what it does. It's making the water cloudy, but I don't see that it's really falling apart. But that cloudy stuff there would, I think, help to attract a fish. And as far as just falling apart from being wet, it's not. It's still pretty sticky. And the water that it's going to go into is quite cold. It's colder than my tap water. So for the price of this 14 ounce container of dough bait, which cost me right at $4 at Walmart, and then maybe four cups of dog food would cost less than $2 for sure, then I made all of this dough bait right here, and it's quite a bit. Like I got at least three of these. And bait costs so much, and this is, seems like it, it's going to be a workable thing for us. So I'll take you out in a few minutes and see how it does when I'm trying to get it on the hook outside, and then we'll check what we get in the morning. Okay, we're getting our hooks baited. Now these two on this far end, away from the house, they're still on short lines, and surprisingly we've caught fish on them more than we've caught on the other but uh, not entirely especially that one back by that rose bush my bait is a little bit softer than I'd like for it to be so I'm gonna go ahead and bait my hooks like this tonight but okay after I came back in the house from doing that and where I discovered that my bait was too wet I pulverized uh, maybe about a cup, three-fourths to a cup of dry dog food in this little ninja. So it turned it into powder. And, in, and I'm just going to dump my dough bait that I made in here and work that dry dog food in there. And it will absorb the excess moisture and I think will be good.
satisfied, tickled too, just to be with you.